Hi guys, welcome to my videos. So guys, today in this video, we are going to see how to apply for a tourist visa to Nigeria online. Before I proceed further, I would like to clarify neither I am an immigration consultant nor I am a government body. So if you take anything out of this video, you do it at your own risk. All right, guys, so let's proceed. So guys, in front of you, I have opened official Nigerian immigration site. And here you have the link. You can click on apply for entry visa. This will take to you to a portal where first you need to sign in. If this is your first time, you have to. Uh, uh, you need to sign, OK, or you can sign in using Google or you can sign using open ID. So I'm going to sign in and then we will uh, take it up from there. OK, so I used Google and I signed in. Now when you're creating the first application, create on. New application, so it's going to ask your nationality first, so select like I'm doing sample, but you do as per your case, OK? Choose your passport, standard passport, OK? Whatever is applicable to you. Visa type. Single entry, multiple entries, temporary work permit. So I'm selecting single entry. Visa class, transit, business, tourism, visiting. So I'm, I'm selecting tourism. Whatever that can be your case, you're going to do. Crossing country. Let's say you are from India and you are in India. So you select India. And here you have only one option because they have only one mission. So it also tells you the fee. $253 and $90 for biometric free. $343. OK. Now continue. All right. So applicant data. You need to for, have photo, phone number. It already picked up with the extension. So I'm just going to put some sample, OK? Of course, we'll not publish. First name, last name, mandatory, date of birth. Do as per your case, not what you see here. And they have some in the instructions also that you need to follow. I select single. What if I select married? Whether it will generate additional fields? No, it did not. Maybe in subsequent screens. Email address, phone number, passport number. I'll just put sample. Passport issue and state. Oh, passport expiry date. I'm sorry. That's why it was not taking that value. Do it as per your case. Previous nationality, if applicable occupation, let's say IT engineer. Whatever is applicable in your case. Contact details. Let's say you are in India. Town city. Let's say you are in. Whatever is applicable in your case. Just don't go by what I'm doing. Address. Let me see if it lets me go to the next screen. I clicked on continue. Image is required. OK, I'm going to see if I can uh, do this. Otherwise, uh, I'll tell you. Now they are asking for your travel details, travel information, duration of stay, uh, biometric information, military information type of reference, that you're going to do. Means of sustenance, how you're going to uh, support yourself. And then when you continue, you go to the next stage where you see the information and then you pay and they have already said. That the information you provided must match on your passport. Application request to verify the application details before making any kind of payment. You can save and come back later. So make sure you do that. And before you pay, make sure you verify everything and from there you go ahead. 
So you got the information how you can go to the last stage and apply and if granted, you can uh, travel to Nigeria. They may ask you to upload documents and I think they will ask, but I, uh, unfortunately, I can't go to that screen. So thanks for watching this video. Please subscribe to the channel. Thank you.